much more seriously, we got to get to your opinion, Boogie, on John Calipari. John Calipari finalizing a five-year deal to become the next head coach at Arkansas, salary being reported in the $8 million range per year. Now, in 15 seasons with UK, Calipari was 410 and 123, seven elite eights, four final fours, 2012 national championship. But of course, as we know, and we've talked about on the show, lots of dissatisfaction around Lexington. He had not reached the second round of the NCAA tourney since 2019. So Boogie, I, I want to know when you first this crossed your phone. I don't know if it was last night. I don't know if it was this morning. What was your reaction? Your first like 30 second reaction? Uh, I was shocked. I was, I was, I was shocked. And, um, you know, uh, I have a soft spot in my heart for, you know, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, that was a place I consider home at a certain part of my career. Um, you know, I've got great memories, great times, great relationships still to this day in that place. And um, it's going to remain that way. You know what I mean? Um, the same goes with Kyle. Like, I understand his business. I understand the ups and downs of it. Um, I see both sides. I understand both sides. But, uh, you know, I think I think this is good for both sides in a way. Uh I think this is a fresh start for Kyle, and uh, it's also a fresh start for uh, the University of Kentucky. Um, you know, it's been a lot of chatter and back and forth about, you know, what's the standard, what's what's expected on a year-to-year -year basis. Well, I think I think everybody's going to get a real, you know, taste of reality moving forward, like from this. Um, Amen. <laughs> I think with Cal, uh, he's now in a place where it's not this pressure to bring in a championship every single season since, you know, that's the standard at UK. Um, this is now a place, I think Arkansas, we all know, we've seen this movie before with Cal, like where he goes becomes the hot spot. That's the reality mm -hmm. of this. Yeah. Um, Arkansas, everything about Arkansas is... I, I put Cal and, and, and Deion Sanders in the same category. You know, Deion has the prime effect, and we've seen what it's done for not just the program, but the entire city of Colorado, well, uh, the entire state of Colorado in the, in the mm -hmm. city that they're in. And Boulder. We, Boulder. Yeah. And Boulder. We, we, we've seen what it's done. It's the same thing with Calipari. Like, mm -hmm. Arkansas will, will now be the hot spot. Arkansas will now have the number one recruiting classes coming in every single year. Arkansas will be full of celebrities. Arkansas will have the most talent coming in and out every single year. The machine will continue to go. It's just being a new place. I think when it comes to, you know, UK, we're, we're going to have to go through our, our rebuilding process. I think there isn't a right answer as to, you know, who will fill that spot. And, yeah, it's plenty of, you know, popular names out there right now. You know, you got, you know, Dan Hurley and UConn. UConn not letting him go. Let's, let's no, no. Let's well, that was my question. Okay, so if you were if you were the athletic director, who would you get to replace John Calipari? Who's gettable? Dan Hurley's not going. Jay Wright is living his best life. Yes, he Half is. Half the work, even more money. He's not leaving. Uh, uh, I, I saw something about Oates, the, the coach Oates from um, yeah, Alabama. 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 Yeah. Uh, we go, I also saw something about Brad Stevens. You're out your mind. If you think he's leaving his position, nope. he's living his nope. best life. Yep. And then yep. I thought something about Billy Donovan. Billy Donovan has been a part of college basketball. He's now at the ultimate level when it comes to the NBA. Uh, it's going to be hard to convince any coach that has been to the ultimate level to then take a step down, to go to the collegiate level. And it's not the collegiate level of old. This is a, mm -hmm. this is a brand new monster. So now, mm -hmm. and and most of these coaches that used to coach in that old way, it was their way or the highway. That's not what college basketball is anymore. So to think that it's going to be a line around the door of coaches that want to, you know, not only coach at this level, and it's 10 times the amount of work, you now have to convince them that, yeah, you have to meet this standard of being a championship team every single year. Good luck finding a replacement for Cal because it's going to be very, very hard. Yeah. And UK will, and what we experienced in those 15 years of Cal being there, we will never experience again. 
Now, now, I'm not saying we won't have championships down the line because UK is UK. You know what I mean? I think I think the AD will, you know, go about it the right way, find the right person to fit the culture, meet the standards, and it's going to be a process. As long as they understand it's going to be a process, and I think it's going to be one of those processes to where you get you you end up finding talent, you build on them for three or four years, and it's going to be a team full of juniors and seniors like we continue to see in this tournament because that's what wins tournament games. Experience and consistency. That's what that's what wins in college. So and and yeah, it is rare occasions where you get a, a young group that can do it, but that's a rare thing. That's like hitting the lottery. But at the same time, we see time and time again the consistency and the experience is what wins college tournaments. So I do think, you know, Kentucky down the line will finally get one of those teams and you know, we'll we'll be back at the top or in that moment be at the top, but to be the hot spot or be what we've been as of lately or these last 15, it'll never be the same. Even when it comes to TV games, the revenue, everything yeah. that comes with Kentucky won't be on TV anymore. It's going to be hard to get a kid to go to Kentucky if they're not on TV. What kids are looking for in today's time is what's hot, what's cool, what's relevant. I want to be on TV every single night to show my talent. Guess what team's going to be on TV every night? The Arkansas Razorbacks. Mm. <laughs> Rachel, I think the thing to keep in mind is, you know, and Boogie, you could correct me if I'm wrong, but sometimes people at places like Kentucky or UCLA is a great example of how it could be because UCLA is kind of going through it in terms of they start, they think, oh, it's here. It doesn't matter who's coaching. They're right. always going to come. Mm -hmm. But the reality yep. is in the last 15 years, these kids wanted to go play for Cal. And yes. it's not just because yes. Cal's a nice guy or, or a fun guy to be around. It's because Cal went into every one of those living rooms and told those kids, my number one priority is to see you be as high a draft pick as possible. My number two priority is championships. And he knew that if I get the talent, we're going to win games, we're going to go to Final Fours, and we might win some championships. They, don't, they ended up winning one. But the reality is every year – the start of the year, we knew that Kentucky was going to be one of the top teams in the league, and that was because of Cal. And like Boogie mm -hmm. said, we could look at the track record. He went to UMass. What'd they do there? Final Four. He went to Memphis. What'd they do there? Championship game. And again, those aren't hot spots. Those weren't blue bloods. Those were smaller exactly. schools. Mm -hmm. He comes to Kentucky. He has the success there. He's going to go to Arkansas. Arkansas ain't Memphis, and it ain't UMass. That's a school with deep pockets, with mm -hmm. boosters that want to see winning. Walmart. Jerry Jones, Tyson Chicken Family, all them people, Walmart. Walmart. They got money, Walmart. and they want to see wins, and they'll give Cal whatever he needs. Yes. He's going to be happy. He's got chicken money. And they'll make, and they'll make He's the got money chicken back. Money. And they'll make the money yes. back. They'll make the money yep. back. Meanwhile, Kentucky, we've seen what happened when they have a coach, and then they're trying to transition off afterward. So what happened after after Patino, after Tubby, and the down years can happen. And like I said, if you don't believe me, look at UCLA, the greatest basketball dynasty ever. Look at yes. what happened to them in the in the down years. Look at what's yes. what's gonna happen in some of these other schools, Georgetown in the down years, UConn yep. in the down years. It happens to all of us. This is this this game is built around the people who play it and the people who coach it, and the name of the team. Has an impact, but it ain't it ain't going to uh, erase what the first two things do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do think I do think there is a right answer to UK, like moving forward and making this process like moving forward with a good energy. I think I think the perfect hire for UK at this point would be Ray John Rondo. Oh wow! Ooh. Okay. He's a, he's well, a we sat kid. here last week, Boog. We did. And he said, I want to go into coaching. We sat with Ray John last week. He it said, I definitely want to go into coaching. He said, the only reason I'm not doing it now is that I need to get my daughter off to her final year of mm -hmm. high school volleyball. And then once she's set and she's in college, I can go. Guess what? He can play and coach in the same, I mean, sorry, he can coach in the same yes. place as daughter plays. He doesn't have to yep. wait that year. Exactly. Right? There, she's right there. He's right there. It's all good. And by the way, I mean, he also said that uh, he'd like Boog on his staff. So I might be looking for a new co-host if that happens. We'll, we'll, have, we'll talk a little bit more later. I'm going to say, Boogie, you don't, you don't want to be babysitting these kids, man. You're going to go crazy. Man. <laughs> man. You're going to go crazy. Well, you, like the way, as hard as you played, as passionate as you were, exactly. having to deal with uh, like these, today I don't want to do this. Today I want to be a TikTok star. 
Bro, oh, man, I, I man, God I'm bless you. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs, man. Get in the goddamn <laughs> gym, man. That TikTok, man. <laughs> but uh, I, I honestly on. think Rajon would be the perfect guy for this situation. And the reason saying that is obviously he's a Kentucky kid. Um, he played at Kentucky. He's an alumni. He, he lives there right now. He lives there. He he's already in town. Doesn't even have to move. Don't even have to pay moving expenses. Yeah, but he understands both sides. Like, probably better than anybody else ever will. And um, I think when this, this is going to be a healing process for Kentucky. Like, it's going to be a lot of things moving forward. And I think putting Ray on in that position, he's going to be a great energy moving forward. He's great at creating a standard. He's great at leading the ship. I don't think he. I don't think there's a better leader to lead Kentucky out of this spot than a Rajon Rondo. He has the intel. We don't even have to speak on the intelligence and the knowledge of basketball. Like that's yes. a gift. So Boomer, you want you want to know what my my prediction is? My prediction is they're not going to do that. They're going to hire the wrong person. They're going to learn the hard way that oh yeah. this ain't as easy as we thought it was. Right. And right. then maybe they'll they'll come around. But I that's mean, good because Doe doesn't want to be the rebound anyway, right? So, so I don't know. We we got to see. Maybe he doesn't want to be the rebound. Maybe he wants to wait. I'm and not see. thinking about Thanks. it in that type of a way. I just think uh, this, right. is, this is great for everybody moving forward. All not right. in a rebound type of way, but just putting things in a positive way moving forward. Like, because at the end of the day, I'm still I believe blue. Like, I'm a, I'm Kentucky to the death of it. So I always want success for this, you know, university and school. So. That's more so my thinking. And, you know, how can we write this ship now that we've moved on from this part? And I think Doe is the perfect person to do it. 